Alrighty. Can you hear me, Rob? No, I can't. Can you hear me? Yeah. Through your headphones? I don't know. I just can hear you. Oh, yeah, I can. I had the wrong earpiece on. That's sweet. Right. Oh, that's better, dude. Yeah, turn, put them on then. It's all insular, isn't it? Yeah. Sweet. Can we not do the BMX instead? <laughs> yeah, well, probably everyone's listening, so I'd be careful what you say. So oh, only joking, race fans. We're <laughs> not actually live yet. It's got to be finished by half five. It'll be dark. Should we try and do it in a South African accent? Yeah, we could do. What do you think, man? Yes. Have you seen the? Uh, are we like? No, have you seen the shanty town at the top? Half yeah, of the amazing, isn't it? Amazing. I thought about moving in, rent cheap, no mortgage, get a kick of Everyone ball around. Everyone was just getting pissed, didn't they? Are they really? Yeah. They just play football. Yeah, and get pissed and what hang the washing on a bit of an L line and. What do they do for money? I don't think they're asked, are they? What well, they need? You don't need to pay your mortgage, do you? On a shanty shed. They get free electric. Do they? Yeah. yeah. Every hand drop of a crate of water yeah, on like every kind of week. It's kind of like being a jip out at the moment. Hello? 30 seconds. I'm nervous now. Ah, come on. You're going to do your intro? Right, gents. Are you going to do your intro? Yeah. Alright, gents. Let's get on Here's it. Then. Don't forget your mic. No rush, we've started it. Anything else? Yeah. Well, I'm going to watch this again. 700k long. It's nearly a mark, nearly a kilometre long. How come you've got three beers now? I nicked him from Oakley, but dude, Will might be able to go and get us another one each. Let's leave it in the middle. Whoever finishes first gets it. Now, professional. It takes the tension out of it. Good afternoon everyone, welcome to Peters Maritzburg in South Africa for round one of the 2011 UCI Mountain Bike World Cup. Right now we're going to be bringing you all the action from the first round of the four cross. Don't forget, you'll be able to watch the cross country tomorrow and the downhill on Sunday. But for now it's 4X. Joining me is Nigel Page, uh, four cross supremo, now the uh, CRC team manager. Yeah, how are you doing Rob? It's good to be back. First race on the gate now already for the first uh, World Cup four cross event. It's only a three man start and it's Graves the number one in the inside. He gets the whole shot as we would be expected. Got my rider in second at the moment. Lucas Maturi is looking good at the moment. And we've got the third place Mullins in third. Dropping looking back. safe at the moment for Lucas and for Graves. We've just got to hold tight there and hold on to that one two position. Oh, we got a crash there. So the first two now definitely going to go through. Mullins is out. We're going to see Graves. And Lucas Matura go through to the next round then. Jared Graves, well, I think fair to say there's every chance for him dominating here this afternoon. It's a fast track. A start is uh, absolutely essential as well. That's probably the slowest corner on the track there as these two make their way down. Uh, Hope we don't see too many punctures, Nigel. I saw some yesterday in qualifying. There's a few rocks up there. and Yeah, for sure, Rob. As usual, you know, because it's still got that BMX-style uh, gate and first straight, then the boys all seem to use their... Uh, you know, the lightweight tyres, and that's where they can come unstuck with uh, hitting a rock and getting a puncher easier than when they use a downhill tyre. But this track is probably one of the, probably the longest of the circuit. It's not that challenging in, in the way of the jumps. The jumps could have been a lot bigger here, yeah, I think, Rob. Yeah, I was speaking to, um, I was speaking to uh, one of the guys yesterday, and he said that, um, yeah, the jumps are almost, they're just so small, they're almost dangerous for them, so... They'd like him a little bit bigger. These guys can really send it on these hardtails nowadays as well. Yeah. But there's that awesome start from Graves. I mean, Makura, no mug out of the gate there, and he's getting absolutely smoked by that man up front. Yeah, that wasn't the best start from Lucas there. He's going to have to get some better snaps later on in the uh, as the rounds progress closer to the finals. But as expected, Graves with a flawless start. He's, he get, he's got them gates down to a, a T and... Uh, He's, you know, obviously the man to beat tonight. And, and he has, as he has been over the last few seasons, make the most of watching Jared Graves in action this year as well, ladies and gentlemen. He is, has announced that this is actually his last year of four cross racing. He's then he's doing the downhill as well on Sunday, and he's going to concentrate purely on downhill after that. So, uh, 
be interesting to see what he can do in that. He did actually have a second in a World Cup down at Angel yeah, Fire yeah, a few nice. years ago. So we've got Prokop on the inside, Chug, Jackson, and on the outside, Millwood from Great Britain. So we'll be looking for a good start from Prokop in gate one, and as expected, he's out front, but he's battling at the moment with Chug. Chug goes inside, Prokop goes to the outside, and them two have got the first and second positions at the moment. There's a bit of a battle going on in third which is just slowing them two guys down. But as expected, it's Prokop and Chug at the moment. Prokop, obviously, a former world champion in four cross. That's right, Nigel. And uh, fourth last year overall in the World Cup. Third of the World Championships. Had a bit of a weird season in 09. Wasn't really up to par by his standards, but last year he was back on it. You know, he was second at the finals and he had three third places. So he was in the final, four finals out of six, actually, last year for Michael Prokop. So still one of the real big guns of World, uh, world Four Cross. Yeah, uh, Chug as well was injured last year. We didn't see a lot of him, did we? No, but as you can see, Prokop, he only qualified in eighth position, so that's going to give him some outside gate choices as the rounds progress closer to the final if he's yeah. still in the competition. But one thing I've noticed here, Rob, I think, I think that middle section with a lot of corners there, it's, it's become quite greasy with the yeah. rain this morning and it's hardened up. I think, you know, maybe a few guys can slip out there and that could cost them the race tonight. Well, we've seen two runs and two crashes on it so far. So Prokop and Millwood going through there. Didn't see what happened right the No, that was Chug in second. He got through. Sorry, dude. The graphics are wrong. Excuse me. Yeah, looking at our screen here. Definitely Prokop and Chug. Excuse me. If anyone's listening, the graphics were wrong on Going the through to the semis, Germany and the Czech Republic. So, Prokop next round, Trump. we're going to see Mud, Techman, Roberts and Weiss. So, Graves, the fastest qualifier here yesterday. We had the qualifying run with a 58.5. Half a second ahead of the second place man, Roger Rindenecht. In third place was Thomas Slavic, the world champion, riding for RSP Four Cross Racing Team from last year. Graham Mudd, the guy we're going to see in the next round, was in fourth. David Graff, round in fifth. Johannes Fishback, sixth. Wickman had an amazing 2009 and not such a good 2010 by his standards. Back there in seventh. Prokop, eighth. Chug in ninth. And uh, Blake Carney from the USA rounding out the top ten. So we're back to the top. Mudd on the inside. Techman, Roberts and Weiss. So Weiss closest to the camera then, not getting a very good gate. It's that number four, Mud out front. Qualified fourth fastest here as well. So it's Mud from Techman at the moment. Scott Roberts has got a bit to do in third, but he's pretty close to second. He's going to have to make a move pretty soon. Because I think the bottom... Oh, there we go. Slide out as we expected. Oh, two down. That corner's going to take a few out, I think, tonight, Rob. Corner's absolutely lethal, Nodge. I wrote down the downhill earlier. Uh, uh, snail's nose. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's slippery down this bottom. It doesn't seem about the sun on it in this hidden valley all yeah, afternoon. It's, and it's really clay, isn't it? Yeah. It's like pretty slippery. At the top, it's quite loamy, but down here, it's really hard pack and um, well, really, really slippery. Everyone, it seems, on hardtails here this afternoon as well. We don't often yeah. see them mix it up. But. Unfortunately, I'd like to see a few more suspension bikes in the mix. Nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what they can do about it. Pretty the, uh, much tried everything. So there's Mud. He's going through to the next round. Not too muddy at this stage. Nice, brilliant notes. That's why Thanks. we employ a fantastic wit like that. <laughs> Scott Roberts going through from Great Britain in second. Uh, Techman in third there, he's going to be going home already. So yeah, like you said, this is definitely one of the longest four cross tracks of the year, I would say, wouldn't you? Yeah, for sure. In length especially, because it's, really, it's pretty fast, isn't it, for a four cross track? Yeah, I spoke to the lads on our team last night after qualifying and they said it was so long. You know, a lot of these guys, are, you know, train and uh, they're used to like shorter, shorter laps and BMX races as well for a lot of training. This is a bit longer than they're used to, so uh, if you get all the way through to the final, it's going to be uh, quite challenging for these fellas tonight, but they train hard and they should be fit enough. Well, that's right, now. It's a big point. You know, they've had two days practice, a little bit of practice today as well, qualifying. And it definitely takes it out of them, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. And like you said, by the time you get through to the to the later rounds here, then tired legs probably going to start playing a bit of a uh, price in this. Yeah, yeah. A part in this, excuse me. Yeah. So, Graf, there's the number 12 plate of Tatarkovic. Makura, what's his first name? That's Lucas's brother. Michael, uh, Michael, yeah. Michael Makura. This is his first year doing the full uh, four cross uh, season. He did a 
around last year at Val de Sole, really enjoyed it and he's, he's kind of quit the BMX and giving this a shot for the year. Still only a junior. Oh, but, is that uh, right? Yeah. So he's got a bright future in it. Hopefully. So Graf there then on the inside, 14th overall in last year's World Cup. So this is quite a hard round for Michael, but um, I think he's got the skills to do it if he gets this one right. It's all about the snap. He's got to get out of there. He's got to get out of the gate and come across. Spike, chain reaction cycles. One of Paige's teams. When he found out there was a team prize, he seemed to uh, re-employ a few of the four cross boys. Hey, you know what I'm just saying? That's, no, that's the rumor. You know me, Rob. I've always liked the down on the four cross, so why not have a couple in each? That's true enough, isn't it? Thanks. You're pretty good at both. Yeah. Come on, Michael. You need to get it going, <laughs> son. Don't want to just shout for Michael, but oh. He's so going for the out front. Yeah, he's into oh. second. Nicely done there, son. So Michael McCurry then, that was a cunning move. I think that's yeah, the first time we've seen that, that inside line there. That was a good move. He's got some skills and he's, he had time to think there. But he's got to hold on to this second place now. He takes it easy on that corner. But you can see it's pretty rough down there on the hardtails. I was just going to say, man, track. they're going pretty fast down there as well. I'm glad I went with a 67 degree head angle on that snap bike. <laughs> <laughs> Come working on, Michael, out. you've got to keep it going here, son. Working out for you on the steeper right. part right. of this four-cross uh. course here uh. in Peter Maritzburg. But Graf with a commanding lead, Michael yes. Matura and Tatakovic. Uh, Tatakovic, nice. Tatakovic, sorry. I don't want to put you Oh, no, he's left it wide. Oh! Oh, no, oh, Matura oh, goes yeah. down as well. So Tatakovic will be... He goes through and Matura is furious with himself. Well, after such an amazing yeah. move on turn one, to yeah. leave the door wide open, what do you call that, youngster? You say yeah. inexperienced? Yeah, he left it open there. It was a silly move, but, you know, he's new to this and he's, he's going to learn from his mistakes. That was a real shame there, because Tatarkovic is a... You he's know, a big gun, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Seventh overall in last year's World Cup, you know? Yeah. One of the big hitters, the Czech rider. Yeah. And you can't be leaving things over now. It's bad. I mean, it's a long course. It's a long way for these guys to, you know, but if you want to if you want to be sharp, dude, you've got to stay in it, haven't you? You've got to stay nice focused. And Tatarkovic would have been shocked to see him come up the inside there. Yeah, and really, a brilliant, move. brilliant move. And then he just, you know, gave it all away right at the end there. That was a real shame. So we're going to see more of that. Probably all the other guys at the top would have seen him do that move there, that line up the inside. Yeah. You're almost going to have to hang back if you're on the outside to get on it and cut well, back across. You know, there's a big... Some of the guys are going out so they don't have to, you know, drop in off that drop off there. But he went for the berm and he left it wide open. Oh. There you go. That actually a great big hit there. This, yeah, this bottom yeah, part forming the bottom of the downhill course yeah. for and Sunday's uh, race. And that's, that's about, they reckon at. about 65 foot, that big hit there. That's yeah, huge. And the guys are getting over it's it. It's pretty so. impressive. Next step will be... I think so, it's got, and especially at the end of that downhill track with all the pedalling, it's you know you've got to have some left in the tank to clear that. So we've got Roger Rindenecht in this round as well, the second fastest qualifier, and we've got uh, Quentin Derbier and Sidal on the outside as well. So only three in this round, but three big hitters, I would say. Actually, Rindenecht winning in Val de Sol. Last year as well, six overall in the World Cup. Oh, Rindenek with a slow start there. He's got it all to do then. But he's got the power. Oh, down. oh massive! Holy Toledo! He slams the other two into the yeah. bank. Rindenek well, wasn't messing around don't there. Don't mess with Roger. Yeah. So Rindenek, Rindenek's out front. Let's have a look at the battle for second for the other qualifying position. <coughs> So Rindenek's made light work of him. If he could do every round like that, he'd be unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah, fourth as well at the World Championships. Yeah, he can take it easy. Where are the other two? Have they actually got going yeah, again? Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh, the oh my head. God! <laughs> <laughs> he's going to hit him. Punch him. No, oh, I he's thought. He's not happy about that, is he? Oh, my word.